Hey guys, welcome to another week of Connect Group and I'm here again at Lot 10. Uh, this has been filmed on a Sunday morning, so it's the first physical reopening of church that we've had. So if you happen to have been here today, um, it was so great seeing you guys. And if you are coming this coming weekend or any of the following weekends, look out for us. We'd love to say hello to you guys. It's been so long since we saw you. But speaking of seeing people, this is also week three of the Alpha course and there's no better time to join than this week. It's Wednesday night, 8 p.m. So if you're still uh, mulling over, should I come, should I not come? Or you have family or friends that have been mulling over, should I come, should I not come? You've been praying for them. You're like, I don't know what God is saying. Why don't you just extend an invitation out to them for our third and final round of Alpha and this will be week three, no better week. And something else that's got getting us very excited here on the pastoral team is the release of our first ever EP from the HTBB worship team. It's called Heaven's Anthem. It's launching on Friday, but on Thursday night this week at 9 p.m. on our YouTube channel, we are having a launch party where we're gonna listen together and find out a little bit more from Stu and the team about their heart behind the EP. You know, the process of putting it together, what the Lord has been speaking to them about, and just the backstory. So we would love for you to join us on Thursday at 9 p.m. But right now, uh, I'm gonna open up with a word of prayer before we hand over to Brian for this week's exegesis. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much, God, for who you are. And we thank you for the wisdom series that's been. Uh, as Alvin uh, was sharing and preaching this past Sunday about how we kind of lean into uh, with your wisdom in this season that's been so tumultuous, Lord God, we're reminded that our first response is that we can always run to our Heavenly Father, the one and only wise one, that we can look up for wisdom for our current situation. And we thank you that it's available each and every single day and in each and every single season. So we just lean into your wisdom today in Connect Groups, Lord, and we pray for an encounter with you in a way like never before. And we just ask that you bless each and every single person in connect groups, whether it's in person or online, watching right now, God. Bless them in their friendship with one another as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for joining us. It's over to Brian, and uh, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless. This week's uh, CG Exegesis video, I'm Brian, and this is Sweat, and uh, you're going to bring you through uh, today's video. And so on Sunday, actually, Elvin spoke on this topic on titled the only wise way is up and he's speaking this coming out of a, a postscript sermon series on wise up and so uh today's a little bit kind of like a uh, like a additional content like a, a deluxe yeah, content postscript. yeah postscript of uh the whole sermon series and so i don't know about you so but the first thing that came to mind uh was actually when he mentioned up it was actually this movie, Up, uh, ah. by Disney Pixar. And I don't know, well, and throughout this whole MCU, it kind of made me, well, I did at one point imagine, I have to confess, mm -hmm. I did imagine of, um, you know, because, you know, we all need to stay at home, right? Mm. Due to the SOPs, we can't go out. Uh, and so I did thought, oh, if only I could attach a lot of balloons to the house and float away, right? But it uh, won't work because we stay in a condo, so you have to bring a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. we take the whole condo along. But I mean, <laughs> you know, if we were in a in a small house or a landed house, mm. uh, you know, if only we could do that and float away. But then I thought about it again, and and then I realized, ah, yeah, but we can't go interstate yeah. travel. Mm, so unfortunately, oh, well. it doesn't work that way <laughs> as well. But nonetheless, no things are opening up, and mm. it's so incredible how all of us have a. All of you have endured this yeah. far and you know the the interesting fact is that on monday um the 18th of october was yes. the 19th month Ooh. since the first mco and you know yeah and well done you know pat on your back you know for uh going through all the all that time of uh you know self-isolating of yeah. physical distancing of wearing masks uh and doing still all the masks. and still wearing masks and all the check-ins and the, you know hand washing and, and birthday songs <laughs> singing birthday songs while on watching. zoom on Zoom on as well. Zoom. Oh yes. Um, yeah, and all that stuff. You know, so well done. And I thought it'd be great if you could start today's um, discussion because you know during during the MCO, sometimes in our highs, uh, it might be incredible. Like for ourselves, mm. you know, we uh, what what happened? We got we married. Got married, yeah. Yeah, and then what else? We happened? have uh, a child. We have a child. We have a five-month-old. Incredible. 
Who's um, turning five months in on 18 October. Yeah, quite incredible. Mm. Time flies really fast. But then at the same time, there's the lows for us also uh, were really like rock bottom. Like, yeah. For example, like your grandmother right, yeah. was quite tricky. Yeah, passing her, away. Yeah, her uh, grandmother during, passing away. During the season. Mm -hmm. And also us being away from some of our families. Yeah, yeah. for quite extended periods of time. And mm. you know, you might not be able to see in your see your families as well. Uh, and, and maybe until recently or even until the coming weeks as things open up more and more. Mm. But I thought it'd be great if we start with this question of discussion. What, what are some of your highs and lows since the first MCO? And um, and this question is not, it's not for us to, to you know, reminisce and to look back, ah yeah, it was so sad and pity me, but rather to also recognize that actually, hey, maybe God was there with us. Yeah. Or, or, or what are you grateful as well during this time of MCO? You know, what are some of the things that you appreciated that happened during this MCO? Okay, so uh, just 10 minutes on the clock, really quick discussion. Uh, do pause the video right here and then we will see you back in uh, 10 minutes. Okay, well, welcome back from the discussion. We hope uh, it was a great time of discussion. Well, right now we're just going to jump straight into the passage. Mm. and. Uh, Alvin preached on James chapter 5, verse 13. Swet, why don't you, you read it for us? Okay. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Yeah. Really short and sweet. <laughs> well, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks, and thanks be, be to, to God. God. And you just want to say that um, even though it's a short passage, there's so much in it that we can take from it. But, uh, you know, if, if you need to, feel free to pause uh, the video to have a look through. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna go on with the uh, the first point, and the first point in this is trouble. Uh, are you in trouble? This passage says that is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Right? If you're in trouble, let them pray. Quite not not straightforward. Yeah, quite straightforward. No no like complicated maths equation or it's not rocket science. Yeah. Right. But I think the the question that Alvin brought here, which I quite like, was that you know what is your initial response? To trouble. Now what's the first thing that you do uh, when you come towards a, a problem? And he pointed out too, you know, it's either you direct it outwards uh, or you direct it inwards. Where, you know, when it's outwards, you you complain to someone like, you know, maybe I'll complain to sweat. Uh, or you show emotion, like you, you're grumpy or, you know, you really show it in your face. Uh, although with the, the mask, I'm not sure. Maybe you show it with eyes. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or you post it on social media, you rent on Instagram. Or rent or, on a or, Google review. On Google review, which uh, I have to say, I, I have done it before, uh, giving that two star to, to yeah, that particular restaurant. Uh, not great, but you know, this is sometimes how we, we, ex, we ex, ex, well, express, express ourselves, ourselves yeah. you know, outwards. Yeah. But then there's also that direct inwards where you think about it in a way, have some thought, sometimes you think about the, the trouble. Or you write it down in your diary or in, in a book or in a journal, whatever you might have. Or write you know, a you, song. You, or write a, a song or a poem, yeah. Or you, you, know, you take an action on yourself uh, mm. to try and solve uh, that trouble. And I kind of wonder, you know, what about you? So what's your initial response? Mine is to direct it outwards. Uh, I have difficulty uh, thinking sometimes mm. and sometimes it's just easier for me to like talk to you about yep. it and just like complain and just externally like externally process it. Externally yep. process yep. it with you. But for you, I know that you tend to direct it inwards. Yep, yep. I tend yeah. to keep it inside and uh, yeah. I'll think about it, you know, before before I do anything, I'll just, oh, okay, this is a problem. I want to think about it first. Yeah. And then, ah, okay, maybe I'll go pray. And oh. you tend to direct, uh, isolate yourself. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So different people have different ways of managing or uh, this trouble. Yeah. yeah. And you know, whether you're directing outwards or directing inwards, you know, it's totally fine the way you do it. But I think the, the thing that Elvin brought up on Sunday is that, you know, even though when we do this, the important thing is that we need to direct it upwards. Uh, as well, or more importantly, we need to direct it upwards. Uh, you know, that should be our first response. Like, you know, trouble, we direct it upwards. And what does that mean, uh, directing it upwards? It actually means that, you know, we are praying to God, we are submitting it to God. Mm. And he, he quoted this, which is quite nice. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. when God takes control, it is no longer on us. Yeah, we want to expand on that a bit. I think what I like about it is that, you know, like when you pray and direct it upwards, you are also like sharing the burden with mm. God. I, I think sometimes like I share the burden or with, with uh, Brian and then mm. um, it's, you know, it's it's quite difficult for you to hold also. But like yep. directing it upwards, like God shares the burden with you and there's not, not, no problem too big or too small for him. Like uh, he can take it in for you. 
Yep. And it's, it's also, rather than just sharing, it's also in, involving God into your life, yeah. isn't it? It's like yeah. involving God. Hey, God, you know, I have this problem. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, you know? It's like involving Him in the discussion, in the, uh, in the thought process, yeah. or even in, um, you know, in all the actions that you're doing to yourself, in posting, ranting on social media, you know, you're involving God into uh, yeah. your life. And I like how, like, when you bring it up to God, like, it gives you perspective. It, it elevates your burdens. Mm. Like, like, you're not the only one carrying it. You, God is carrying it with you. Um, and there's something really, like, special about that. Yeah. And just to add one more point is that I think I think when, when this happens is it, it's not necessary to say that the trouble then is is gone, right? Yeah. It doesn't just disappear. It, yeah. Uh you know, it's not like okay, God, here's my problem, take it, I'm gonna sit here and, okay, and I'll just, pass it to you, watch. I'll delegate it to yeah, you I'll to work on it. Uh, yeah. but, but rather, you know, the, the Bible does teach us about servant leadership where mm-hmm. you know the trouble that we have uh, is still is still with us. But then when we involve God in it, you know, the, the burden, the weight of it gets a little bit lighter, a little yeah. bit lighter. The more we involve God, uh, it gets a little bit, not only lighter, but also He fills us with that joy. You know, the, the Bible does say that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. And so, you know, even though going through that trouble, you know, we can find strength in God's joy. Uh, when we involve Him, He will fill us with joy, which is what, uh, well, spoiler alert, Elvin kind of lands with that uh, in the end. But yeah, uh, anyways... <laughs> Well, we hope that you've, you've watched the sermon. Yeah, please do go through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but right now, we're just going to go straight into our first uh, sharing, a bit of sharing here. Mm. Um, and it's what are some troubles you are or were going through? Uh, maybe it's during the MCO or even now or even before the MCO that you had going through some troubles. And um, again, you know, if feel free to share whatever is mm. comfortable to you. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't have to share your greatest and darkest secrets uh, if, you, if you're not comfortable so yeah. but it'd be great if you could share this and then you know if you need to spend some time to pray for one another you know spend some time to just um, talk it through if you need to yeah. and then um, yeah, then we'll come back to the video but yeah otherwise yeah do yeah. pause the video right here and then we'll see you back in a bit all right well we hope you had a, a great time of discussion and prayer uh, we're going to just continue on straight on into um the second point, which is happy. happy. Are you happy? happy. Uh, and yeah, it's not always all doom and gloom all the time. You know, there are times where you know we pray, we've been praying, and then finally God gives us a breakthrough. Mm. Uh, finally, God breaks down that that wall, Jericho, that's been you know stopping us. Or finally, we got that job uh, that you've been praying for. And so, in that joy, in that happiness, it is also important, as as it says in James, to sing songs of praise, to celebrate, right? In other words, to celebrate, to really, you know, give God the glory, to to recognize the greatness and and this, you know, yeah, this amazing yeah. breakthrough uh, that has just happened. And um, yeah, and and Elvin also brought up this passage, didn't he? Yes, which I thought was quite interesting. You, Second Thessalonians yeah, 5.16 Rejoice always Alright <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Shortest verse uh, Besides Jesus yeah. wept Yeah besides Jesus wept I, I think it's quite Quite You know I think it's quite purposeful That you know One one, one of the shortest verses In uh, the Bible is Is sorrow Jesus wept But then the other short verse In the Bible is also That rejoice always You know yeah. Remember to be uh, Also joyful Not just You know Oh woe is me You know The trouble and everything And yeah. in and if you've read through the Bible, like for example, like Job, he initially starts with uh, that lament, that, that sadness, but he grows and grows out of that lament into praise for God, knowing that you know God is still with him. So remember to rejoice. And I think I quite like this um this sort of point that uh, Alvin sort of yeah. brought up where he says uh, it's not just yeah. a celebration of happiness, but a celebration of praise towards God. And I like that because I think like sometimes I don't know about you, but like mm. sometimes for me, like when I'm happy or like I, 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 you know, I've been praying for something and I finally get what I want. Um, sometimes it's very easy to be like, yay, mm. in that moment and then forget after that. Like, yep. yeah, and I think like writing it down or, or like praise, praising and praying and just saying to God, like, oh, thank you Lord for this prayer answer. It's, it's very helpful for um, good times, but also for bad times, mm. you know, when, when that. For example, like prayers that has been answered, then yep. I look back and like remember, like, hey, God has been with me. You know, He has answered my prayers before. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's kind of it kind of reminds me of when uh when I was a little boy and uh and well every now and then I would want a new toy, 
Um, so I'll, I'll pester my mom, like, mom, please, can I have this remote control car? It's the latest and greatest remote control <laughs> car that I must have, right? And then, Five years later, you say the same thing for something yeah, else. Okay. <laughs> no, but before okay, that part, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> before that, that moment, yeah. uh, but before that, you know, my, my, then my mom will, will eventually buy it for me and then uh, she'll be like, okay, um, you can have this, but remember, you know, savor the, the enjoyment of it. Don't open it too quickly. Don't don't play it too fast. And then otherwise you, you forget about it, you know. And I'll just ignore that, right? I'll just immediately, as a, as a boy, right? Five-year-old boy, yeah. I'll just open it up and start immediately no playing it, you know, even though... <laughs> Even though we're in the middle of the mall or you know in the middle of one Utama, right, I'll just open it and just start playing the remote control car. And mm. by the time we get home, I'll almost like forget that I actually got that new remote <laughs> control car. And I think I think you know when we celebrate when there's goodness that, that when there's that breakthrough, sometimes um, sometimes we can actually forget about it that that God actually did answer our prayer and you know something and and God actually did break through have a breakthrough in our life and sometimes you know and so I think it's good that we write it down right sometimes that we whatever we, our prayer request is that we tick and, and then just write it down that you know yeah. okay God answered this prayer and maybe even put a date on it you know God answered this prayer on uh, when and when yeah. and what year I like that because like sometimes like it's so I, I think especially people who are living in the city we mm. try to move on to the next thing really quickly yep. uh, next iPhone or the next whatever really oh, yeah. quickly but I think like sometimes like when good things happen Hold yourself back and like take a pause and ask us and just say like yeah thank you lord for this yeah yep and so just moving on with this point uh i quite like that you know he alvin explained it a bit more uh to say this that in in this upward celebration of praise it leads to a multiplication of joy and uh, as i mentioned earlier you know there is the joy of the lord is our strength mm-hmm. and i think um Alvin did also share about uh, he him having a prayer room and we've been to his prayer room before uh in in his house and yes it's, you're stealing it's the idea so for yeah. our next house <laughs> I mean if you have if you have an empty room in your house convert it into a prayer room yeah. uh it is absolutely incredible I tell you and yeah. and he shares about you know how even though yeah there might be um, breakthroughs in their lives and there might be celebrations in their lives um but then at that point also they, they don't just celebrate and then move on but they actually take that celebration and go into the prayer room in prayer mm. and rejoice and give thanks and mm. give praises to god and and in doing that it's not just you know oh look at me i'm so holy i'm doing this you know but rather it's also involving god first of all yes. but more so it's also allowing god to fill up you fill you up yeah. with that joy uh, that you you might you don't know that you can have they know that, that even more joy that you can that multiplication of joy and i like how like uh he shared that his wife charlotte like mm. uh, every time after they are they are, they are finished praying or re- uh, rejoicing god in the room they come out happier than yeah. they were oh, yeah. when they went in yeah so that's yeah special. it's quite incredible yeah. Uh, and then you know he went on to say that you know instead of uh, instead of that multiplication of joy it can also that celebration um without uh, sorry without going upward in celebration it can lead to pride or complacency that when we um you know when we sometimes sometimes i mean sometimes you know we are humans and we tend to we sometimes forget i do uh, to include i mean yeah that i i do as well uh, we sometimes forget to include for example we forget to include other people yeah. or sometimes we forget to include god and you know even in in that that personal celebration i mean it's great at that moment right say for example you you buy a cake for yourself you know you you eat that cake or, or you buy you know a, a nice handbag right for example mm. and then when you celebrate celebrate and you kind of forget about you know that god was involved in this that he answered your prayer and, and then that pride that complacency starts to creep in a little bit a little bit and yeah i i t- i really like that point uh, that he brought up yeah mm. Yeah. So just moving on right now, uh, we're just going to go into our um, second bit of discussion. How can we celebrate upwards or, or how can we be grateful um, of the things that we've got, of, the, of, of all the things that's happened during the MCO? So uh, 10 minutes on, on the clock and pause the video right here and then we'll see you back uh, after your discussion. All right, well, welcome back uh, to the video. Ho- hopefully, you've had a, a great discussion and uh, been able to sort of discern how do you celebrate upwards. Well, right now, I think we're just going to land this by um, saying a, a little bit about this. Where in every situation, wisdom looks up and invites God in. And as we mentioned earlier, you know, it's important that, you know, whether in your troubles, whether in your celebration, uh, in your 
in, in, in your sorrow or in your parties, it's important to invite God, to include God mm. into your life. And I think um, one example that, that Elvin shared uh, in the room was actually about um, Soul Survivor. Mm. Uh, do you remember what happened to Soul Survivor? No. Do you want oh, to share? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she knew. Uh, but yeah, well, basically Soul Survivor was, um, it was led, or is it still led, or was led by um, Mike, Mike Pilavachi, whom I think a lot of us might know, um, who recently spoke uh, with on, on one of our online content as well, on, which is on YouTube. I highly recommend you go yes. and check it out. But yeah, basically he, he led um, Soul Survivor for many, many years, from 1993. Can wow. you imagine? That's and um I'm not going to give up my age like, like <laughs> Elvin did. Uh, so basically, Elvin was six when he was like, in 1993. Oh, <laughs> that's the year I was born. Uh, yeah. So, um, and, and basically, you know, Soul Survivor has been running ever since. Like, that's, how many years is that? Like, 20, 20 uh, something years? Almost 30 years? years. Yeah. It's quite long, isn't it? And then suddenly in 19, eh, sorry, 19, in 20. 2019, they decided to cancel it. And uh, I remember it was it was such big news. I, I thought to myself, like, something so powerful and so anointing. Why stop at this point, right? Yeah. I think you say it appeared on BBC. Also. And yeah, it even appeared on BBC, the, the, the national news, right? Wow. That is big, really, really big thing. Yeah. Um, but then, lo and behold, who knew the following year, uh, COVID just hit and, and yeah, just completely fact, yeah. Uh, stopped almost every event. And, and, you know, the fact that they stopped the year before, it... It's quite incredible. Like, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe some people might have gone up to Matt Pilavachi and say, Hey, you knew the, the pandemic was coming. Why didn't you tell us? You yeah, know? it's kind of uh, like no one's up. Yeah, it's a bit like no one's up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and I think, I think in, in that story, it really shows that, you know, sometimes we do not know what's going to happen. And, you know, we, we might be feeling a bit like uncertain or we might be feeling like, Oh, um, what do I do next? Mm. You know, and at that point, it's important that we include God into our plans. It's important to include God, you know, in our again in our struggles, in our happiness, or even in between the two, uh, whatever might be happening between your uh, troubles and happiness. To include God, and God will lead you uh, in ways that sometimes you might not understand. Like, yeah. I mean, can you imagine how Mike, Mike, Mike Pilavaji might have felt then, like to with that sense to like, stop this yeah. ministry that Are he's you been sure God? you know that he's put in so much effort to grow and to grow and to minister into you know every year year in and year out and thousands upon thousands of college and uni university students will come and, and be yes, ministered yeah. and be blessed and go back even yeah. more anointed than or if, even more uh, filled with the holy spirit than when they came you know to stop something like that it will, it must have been absolutely um, maybe confusing yeah. um but with trust and knowing that God is in this, you know, he just followed and uh, yeah, just went ahead and cancelled the whole thing. And yeah, sure enough, you know, the pandemic hit uh, and then, yeah. 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 And so in that situation, uh, and so with that being said, you know, right now, I think, yeah, what, what better than uh, to invite God right now, right? So why don't, whatever you want, might be, you know, whether you are sitting down or whether you are standing up, walking around or, you know, why don't you? Or you, why don't we all come and just put up our hands and let's invite the Holy Spirit. And if you like, you can kneel in this moment. You can you can spend some time and kneel down or you, you can spend some time and just remain seated. And why don't we all come and just, just pray this ancient prayer. Come Holy Spirit. Would you fill the rooms that we are in a lot right now? Would you come and fill our hearts a lot and speak to us? And as, as we were preparing this uh, video, I just had a sense of um, there might be someone in, in your connect group or a few of us that might be feeling a bit lost in this season. They might be feeling uh, the lack of purpose or reason of why we are going through this. And I want, you to, I want to assure you that God is saying to you that even in your struggles, even in the trouble right now, there is purpose. There is a reason to this and God is still um, giving great purpose to the things that you're going through right now. And I just have a sense that he wants to say this to you, that God is still with you. God is still with you. And just ponder on those words, God is still with you even in this season. And I just got a sense as well that, that there might be someone who might be wearing um, blue, almost maybe almost the same shade as the, uh, as the, as the slides here, uh, that blue. And um, 
and you might be meeting up with your father soon, with your uh, physical father soon. And I just have a sense that you know that that relationship that you have with your father has been abstained, has been uh, broken, but God wants to reconcile that relationship today. And lastly, I, I think there might be someone who, um, I think God wants to heal us all, and there might be someone who uh, is having sore throat or, or some form of a pain in the throat. And you know, if, if that's you, God wants to heal you today. And if you know, if, if there's any one of you who resonate with those words, why don't you uh, just, why don't you just you know let yourself be known to your to your connect group leaders or to anyone you might be comfortable to, and why don't you spend some time to pray right now? And also with the the, the troubles that you were sharing earlier, you know what are some troubles that you're going through? Why don't you you spend some time to pray as well yeah. right now for for each other? Yeah, and even in your groups, if there are any words of wisdom when uh, during when we were praying, maybe you can share with your group. Um, yeah. I actually got another sense that someone here might have had a, a dream recently and um, there's a Bible verse involved in that dream. Mm-hmm. And why don't you share it with your connect group and let God minister uh, through that Bible verse. So well, this is the end of the, uh, ex- the connect group video. Um, we, hope, we look forward to seeing all of you next week and uh, we hope you have a great time of prayer. See you. Okay.